Good luck. Yeah, I think you're, uh, I totally missed it. 
Yeah, you should take, take, and... I don't know, some sort of method. Yeah, there should be four. Yeah. Something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. I think maybe you could take back on d5 after I took, and then you have the bishop b5. Oh, you right. think this is worse yeah. than that? I, yeah, I think... This, like, yeah. doesn't matter, probably. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty well there, and that was really dangerous for me just to go back. But yeah. instead of taking back right away, like, after my bishop is here, and you take, I can just, like, play back, maybe? Or instead just play d4 or something, and it's not like good. Yeah, I was thinking that might be really good for you, because... Like, d4 isn't a big deal, you can just blockade it and try to trade light square bishops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, after I take h2, I should be doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah I should stick back then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Hey guys, Brian here. What a great counterattack by Fabi there on the h file. Looked like Daniel had something when he busted up the king side there, but it looked like Fabi had seen this a million times and he knew what he was going to do. And for those who are wondering, in the post game analysis, Fabi mentioned that instead of queen e4, just take here, and this could be one continuation. That was the first variation that they mentioned, and black is a little bit better here at negative 0.3, but the second variation that they mentioned, uh, Fabi mentioned going back here, was when he took on d5, instead of playing bishop d3 for the attack, let's go move back, Fabio was like, just take immediately, and you have bishop b5 attacking the rook, tempo, and the queen, and I think that's what he mentioned. But that's a cool variation because in any event, let's just say that Daniel did play that. What would you play as black here? What's the defense? You know what's coming. What are you going to do? Yes, queen e4. Attack the queen. And this could be one continuation. Bishop d3. Now you get out of dodge. Bishop takes, queen takes, bishop takes, king over. Bishop back. And white is a little bit better at point four. So that was the other variation they were talking about at the end. But wow, what a... I mean, how many, be honest, how many of you thought that Fabi was in a little bit of trouble, right? When um, Daniel lined up his bishops, took out the defender, and broke open the king side. It looked like he, he was going to have something, but no dice. And I love, again, how Fabi kind of turned that attack into a counterattack right here. And for those who are wondering why Daniel resigned at the end, I mean, you're going to be down a piece. This is where the game ended, so only move his knight back and... In the game, uh, what would you play here as black to to kind of what is the uh, finishing blow here? Not the finishing blow, but um, how would you continue to add on to the attack? Yes, you want to play queen f4, and I know it's a uh, white to move, but if it's black to move again, what what is the attack that you're planning? Yes, let me show you the move. You're gonna sack, boom, boom, bam, checkmate. So. Going back here, um, man, that pin is nasty, huh? And this, this bishop is nasty too. Uh, so you have to take, and but it's still forced mate no matter what. Bishop takes, now you're threatening mate down here, block. Here comes the bishop, and just, ooh, it's going to be nasty, man. And it's going to be a matter of run force, run, and um, sack everything, and mate with the bishop. So, wow. What a fantastic attack by Daniel, and a great counterattack by Fabi, and... Just goes to show you, man, there are levels to this game, levels to this game. And on a side note, how cool is it, man? I played Daniel like a couple years ago, four years ago at the beach, and we kind of kept in touch and just uh, able to kind of pull off this magic and make it happen and have these two go at it. That is, that is a cool thing to see, man. That is, uh, never would have imagined that in a million years. So nicely done by the both. And don't forget to check out Fabi's podcast with Christian. I put the link in the video description. Great attack, Daniel. Just, uh... Just a, like a bigger, greater counterattack by Fabio there at the end, man. Beautifully done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.